So in this video, we're gonna install PDQ deploy. Uh, we have the inventory is that uh, you just get all the details about your network attached uh, devices. For deploy, you get to install softwares uh, on them remotely from your computer, like one sitting in your uh, server room or from your desk. You can deploy and install uh, devices on a network computer that will be that could be in another floor or all the way on the other side of the office so you don't have to walk around uh, so for that like always we're gonna search for it pdq deploy we go directly to that link <coughs> okay all right so they, they're just having errors on their screens and all that but all you have to do is just download it uh, click download and it's giving me the deploy release again show in folder <coughs> let's go show in folder so it's giving me 18 now I had the 17 one over here so let's try with the 18 one rather than to go with the 17 I already have one here uh, so they updated it within a week I think like the I installed it a week ago <coughs> and let's so I'm thinking that it's gonna start right away and it's gonna it will the last installation has uh, everything saved in my computer if that's the case we're gonna use this uh, nice software and yes so it did not ask me for my, any of my information about the uh, domain and all that and you see it's showing everything that was successful in the past this is good if you or somebody accidentally deletes it but uh, since I have already created and I wanted to show you uh, what the setup process looks like so I'm gonna delete it completely remove it from my system PDQ deploy right here let's uninstall it so this is a very neat software this one rev revo uninstaller so we're gonna go with the advanced so basically what it does is it removes your uninstall the software like normally you do on the uh, from the control panel uh, and program add and remove programs but then it goes and <coughs> scans the whole system for all that configuration files like these that are saved you see it's a registry and all the files as well that are saved and so it removes tracks them uh, it removes all their tracks with two keys and all that it deletes them so you don't have to manually back in the day I had to go manually into the uh, your Windows registry and remove them so we're gonna delete everything you see all the files and you, uh, you see even the software was uninstalled it had like 50 megabits worth of files behind so we just got rid of uh, all of them now we're gonna go and run that uh, setup again keep everything same launch and this time it will ask like welcomes you and ask see so it's welcoming me and it's gonna ask me all the cool details I'm gonna use the free mod so it picked up my domain it's asking me for a password I have a deployed password um, like I have an account um, I created a user especially for uh, deploy so you know uh, for the sake of clarity all right there we can see is it a member of admin groups or not and it is administrators 
all right so it's an enterprise admin as well I threw it in there let's go and deploy and hopefully it takes the password <coughs> finish and oh, I closed it should not have so let's see what's happening with the deploy not responding This is the username that you can. Oh, it's uh, it's right here. So it launched. So you can see it's free mode and all that. All you have to do is just uh, um, um, add the computers that you want to uh, be added in the group, and then. You can force your packages and all that for the full detailed video of how to do that. I'm going to put in the link, but you can go to um, my site here. Oh, sorry, the YouTube channel. And if you really must uh, know it within the video, you have to watch these videos. Um, this one, this is basically i did not show the setting up process like installing but i showed everything like from scratch how you run the uh, pdq deploy first time and uh, uh, deploy and then like a basics uh, introduction and this is where i deployed chrome this is where i deployed firefox and this is where i think it was Chrome or Firefox or both of them and I deployed them deployed them on multiple computers uh, virtual machines and physical computers laptop and uh, desktop and I deployed to them so you want to see all of those videos oh right here too another video so I'm gonna leave all of these links into the uh, video uh, description Thank you for watching and hope it helped. Good night.